Well, now to a story that 12 News has been tracking for almost two decades and a robbery that occurred 18 years ago today. Tonight, the man behind the crime has been removed from the FBI's most wanted list. In November of 2004, 24-year-old armored car guard Robert Keith Palomares shot and killed, was shot and killed by this man, Jason Derrick Brown. Brown made off with $56,000 and he hasn't been seen since. Now the FBI has removed him from their most wanted roster, believing the exposure wouldn't help bring Brown to justice all these years later. But as Team 12's Colleen Sakura found, there are still plenty of Arizonans searching for answers. I never thought he would be a fugitive this long. It's the past. It's, it's shocking and it's horrific. That's lingered. Jason Derrick Brown on the run since November 29th, 2004. And for most of that time, now retired FBI supervisory agent Lance Lysing searching. It's always the victim. I mean, the victim's family, wanting closure and justice for them. 911, what is your emergency? There was about five shots fired. Outside the AMC theaters near Ray and I-10 in Ahwatukee, armored car guard Keith Palomares is shot five times. I killed the armored car guard instantly. The shooter takes off with about $56,000 in cash, later ditching a bike, but leaving his fingerprints on it. The fingerprints trace back to Jason Derrick Brown. Lysing says it's believed Brown came here nearly 17 years ago with a plan in mind. There was surveillance. There were items purchased. He was out training in the desert, practicing uh, his shooting. But to get to this point. While he could assassinate an innocent armored car guard during a robbery. He was also image conscious and wanted to be the good guy in the life of the party at the same time. Still to this day, I just I just can't believe that he would do something like this because he was such a kind, loving person. But it's what Jason's sister, Jamie Brown Martin, calls a dark side. Jason didn't just wake up one day like this, that he was trained as a young child from the age of eight, nine years old to be a criminal. Jamie says that training came from their father who disappeared 10 years before Jason. My dad used to try to beat the bat out of him. In the days before Brown was identified as the suspect, he came to Jamie's door and stayed for several days, never knowing what he was accused of doing. There was no indication of any sort that there was anything out of the ordinary going on. She'll never forget what Jason left her with. I said, when are you coming back? And he goes, I'll be back someday. And I go, well, and I remember him hugging me again, like a second hug, like a tighter hug. And then I just watched him drive off. And in the back of my head, I was just thinking, am I going to, why would he say something like that? Like someday. Someday has turned into nearly 17 years. It's torn apart our family. Still waiting on closure. He is not the type of personality that can just live in the middle of nowhere by himself for 17 years. Closure for Jason's family, for Keith's family, for the case. Jason will eventually be found one day. Colleen, thank you.